Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. In this video we're going to be painting some palm tree silhouettes against a sunset. And you can follow along traditionally if you like and here are some of the brushes that I use. Um, I use a flat wash brush and a bristle brush also use a couple of different sizes of uh, smaller flat brushes and a long script brush and a short one. Um, here's the canvas that I use. I use canvas board. I also like to use stretched canvas. Um, it just depends on what you want for your preference. And here are the colors that I use. Most of these are Grumbacher Academy uh, paint, but you can also use Liquitex and um, Holbein and, and several different other kind. It just depends on what you want to use. Okay, so I went ahead and I got a photo reference of some palm trees and a sunset uh, from Pixabay where they have royalty uh, free photo references and I just kind of photo bashed it together and put the palm trees in front of the sunset and just made up my own scene there. And so I want to go ahead and start with the sky and it's going to be at sunset. So you want to use uh, light pinks and purples. So here I've got uh, um, red cadmium light mixed with uh, white acrylic gesso if you're following along traditionally and dioxazine purple uh, also mixed with um, <clears throat> white acrylic gesso. And we just kind of want some light colors and then where they meet together you want to go ahead and use a flat brush to sort of make X strokes and try to blend those two colors into each other. And I like to use uh, the filbert brush or um, streaky oils for infinite painter and and that's the program that we're using is infinite painter for Android. And here I'm just um, adding a little bit of some of the yellow color that will be at the bottom and we'll also add a, a sun in there as well. And the color will be cadmium yellow light and you can throw in a little bit of um, orange, cadmium orange and sort of mix those two together. And again here I'm still using sort of the X shaped strokes to uh, kind of blend them together. And um, if you're following along traditionally you definitely want to use the X shaped strokes. Um, if you're doing this digitally there are some other ways to smooth it out. You can use some of the um, airbrushes but uh, here I want to just go ahead and show you what it looks like to um, be doing this on a traditional canvas and the strokes that you would need. And this just kind of smooths out the sky and makes it um, not quite as streaky. Now it depends on what you want. If you want some of the brush strokes uh, to show up then you can just go ahead and leave that there and just kind of uh, leave some of the indications of brush strokes. And then here I'm starting on the water and you want the colors of the sky to sort of be reflected into the water as well. And I'm starting out <clears throat> with the horizon of the ocean and you want to make sure that that's a straight line because you don't want it to be crooked because then it'll look like it's uh, fallen off the paper and, and it won't look right at all. So here I'm adding some of the pink that's in the sky, some of the purples, and again some of the uh, sun color, sunset color, the yellows and the oranges, the light oranges, and just use the same colors that you used um, in the sky. Also use these for the ocean. And you don't have to make the ocean look as smooth. In fact you might want to make it look a little bit choppier because um, it's going to have ripples of water and waves. Although this is a relatively calm ocean it's still going to have some movement. So you can go ahead and and make little uh, banana strokes 
in the water and that just gives it kind of a movement to the water there and here i'm adding some more yellow at the bottom again the same color that's in the sky you just want to kind of um keep the same um, order as it is in the sky here and i'm using the photo reference also to see uh, how it looks um, against the the horizon there and so i'm just kind of uh, blending them together but i'm i'm leaving a little bit of uh, some delineation i guess between the colors and the layers there just because it shows aerial perspective sort of with the ocean it 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 shows the the depth the 3d uh look that it's going to be darker against the the uh, sun that's shining there and so here i'm going to go ahead and add the sun in and an infinite painter they have a really nice circular guide and you just kind of um uh, paint inside that circular guide and it'll snap to the lines but if you're doing this traditionally you need to take a filbert brush or a bristle brush and press it flat get some paint get um cadmium yellow light with a touch of cadmium orange and a lot of white acrylic gesso and flatten the brush against your canvas so that the bristles are splayed out into a circle and then very carefully turn the handle of your brush and just keep it in the same place and you'll find that you can make a pretty good circle that way without having to use a compass or anything else just that little trick of splaying out the bristles on your brush and then just turning the brush around very slowly without moving its position on the canvas and then here i'm just kind of working on it again um, with the infinite painter tools and you want to put a little bit of some haze around the sun You're, it's going to shine through the atmosphere and it'll give it kind of a, a corona i guess that's what they call it but the the haze around the edge so that it's not quite so sharp and you want to kind of do this um, you can use the airbrush in infinite painter or you can use a dry brush technique um, if you're following along traditionally just get a little paint on your uh, filbert brush and just kind of brush in a circle following the shape of your sun around it and you want kind of the same color that you made your sun you want it to look um, sort of a light yellow because we just want to kind of show that the sun is shining through the atmosphere the water drops and things like that the pollution in the air it's going to make sort of a halo or a haze around the sun so here i'm just kind of lightly brushing it in um, using the airbrush and infinite painter and <clears throat> again you can do this with your filbert brush or your bristle brush if you're following along traditionally and so <clears throat> i just want to go ahead and uh, kind of make sure that it um, it looks like it's got that um, hazy look into the water too you want to kind of um, brush this on the edge of your water as well because it's going to reflect and it's going to also reflect the uh, image of the sun into your water too so you want to go ahead and <clears throat> add some of that on the top of the water just to give it the um, the uh, perspective look um so i went ahead and uh did that and <clears throat> then i wanted to go ahead and add a little bit more um ripples to the ocean waves and i'm using a little bit of a darker purple there um you can use uh, maybe a little bit of a light blue if you want to but I'm just trying to kind of give some ripples with a very thin line and I'm using 
um, some of the legacy brushes to to do this too. I liked the Leo brush and the Vincent brush. Um, some of those were some of my favorite brushes. And so here I'm just kind of adding sort of a banana shapes and Z shapes, zigzag shapes um, through the water <clears throat> with a sort of a light violet color. And I'm putting this on the uh, lighter colors of the reflection in the water just to give it some movement to the ocean waves to make sure that you realize that it's actually the sky is reflecting into the ocean but there is actual movement in the ocean and then here I'm kind of smudging them back out because I don't want actual lines I just want um, sort of blurred lines and edges and softened edges just to give the the indication of um, the waves moving you just kind of want a little bit of some motion there and again like I said this is not a a big active wave or anything you just want sort of gentle waves and kind of a calm uh, peaceful scene there and so I'm just kind of working on that and I just kind of want to add a little bit more into the lower areas there and here I was searching through some of the brushes just to to add a little bit of some of the reflection of the sun here and so what you want to do is add a lighter color on top of the ocean waves and you don't want those um, straight either you, you want the reflection to look broken up and and um, jagged edge because it's going to be reflecting on a moving uh, surface the ocean is always moving so here I'm just kind of smudging out the the paint that I put on there and if you're following along traditionally you would take some of the sun color that you've mixed up and just use that dry brush technique and go over the top of the waves with kind of a broken and jagged strokes and you can use your filbert brush or a, a number three round brush but remember to smudge them in because you want to make them softened and uh, make the edges look soft you you want it to to still blend in with the water so you don't want any hard edges on your uh, paint there and remember that you want to start out real small at the horizon and get bigger as you come forward into the foreground and that shows uh, one point perspective and that just makes it look more three-dimensional because um, things that uh, get closer to you they're going to look bigger and so you want to put that in your painting because you want to give that some depth this is a simple painting but just little touches like that will add a lot of realism to um, your picture and so I'm just finishing that up and this is the end of part one and in part two we're going to go ahead and add the silhouettes and show you how to get the palm tree shapes correct so if you want to see that then hit the subscribe button thank you so much for your support thank you for watching and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments down below and i will catch you later